Flag is up in behind, gates go back, and they all from racing from that 1600 meter marker. Starter wasted no time in pulling the lever. Right up there, showing a bit of dash is the Futurist. Tyrion Lannister also likes to be on speed, and Pomodoro's jet, well, he won from being handy last time, and he's no more than a half a length off the leaders. Quartermain around them also looking for a better spot as they somewhat settle down into racing formation. It's the Futurist who goes off to lead the field with Quartermain and Oswald Noach racing in second. Racing away in third now is Lindbergh, just ahead of Tyrion Lannister. They'll move together. Pomodoro's jet is about five lengths off the leader. Then we go back to Inamarare. I can tell you the speed is real good as the Futurist cracks on. Further back is Solomon Seal, Fibonacci, where the Kings easily 10 lengths off the leader. Rule of thumb behind that, Promete. And out back is King Pelez, about 15 lengths off the leader. They go to the last 700 meters of the race, and it's the Futurist with Corne Orfa, who have gone three lengths clear of Quartermain in second. Racing away in third is Lindbergh. Then comes Tyrion Lannister. Further the back is Pomodoro's jet. Inamarare now being asked to run. Fibonacci, Solomon Seal, then comes Promete. There's 400 meters left to go. And the Futurist has now come up for air. Quartermain goes on the improve. Lindbergh, Solomon Seal's getting into the race smartly. Here comes Solomon Seal right over the top. Solomon Seal came gliding into the lead. Quartermain, Tyrion Lannister. Pomodoro's jet is still four lengths off them. It's Solomon Seal on the inside. Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister comes right back to win well. Solomon Seal runs second, Pomodoro's Jet in third, and Quartermain in fourth. Wow, he's got a heart of a lion, this horse. Tyrion Lannister. I tell you what, Solomon Seal went past them all like they were looking for parking. And Tyrion Lannister just continued to fight and fight, and that's all he knows how to do, and that's going to win him races. Great win. He won the Newland Stakes doing exactly the same thing last time, and he's clearly a horse that is improving at a rate of knots. Solomon Seals runs second. Pomodoro's jet number five was in third, and number 12, Quartermain, was in fourth. So Tyrion Lannister with J.P. Fundamava for Pitt Burton, the Dare to Dream Racing Syndicate. If you listened up to those perfectly placed interviews, on the Cape Racing YouTube channel, you would have heard that Pitt Buerta was supremely confident. Even though he was badly off at the weights for his last run when winning the Newland Stakes, he was confident that this horse had done the improvement back at home. And even though not getting to the front today, it's good to see that he's versatile. Well done to Pitt Buerta. This horse is now three-time winner from 13 starts, and he's beaten quite a competitive bunch today. He'll continue to go on. Be with the second horse next time out, Solomon Seal. Good to see him coming back to life. There's no doubt that he's also going to win his fair share of races. Pomodoro's Jet was in third and Quartermain was back in fourth. Race number seven starts off jackpot two here at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth. You need to be on at 15.38.